Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Corey and we back here with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a story time about how I went from 30 points a game, 28 minutes on JV to zero minutes a game and bench sitting. To get this story off, first I'm going to have you guys like the video. Please just drop a like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment. It literally is free. The same amount of effort you took to click this video it's the same amount to click the like button and it's completely free so after all that let's just get right into it starting freshman year i get on a team i'm hooping i'm not really the star of the team yet i'm kind of a, just a role player and you know i'm getting burned but it's not that much burn you know what i'm saying i get in in the mix and shit so after that year play out i'm playing good boom next year sophomore year come i'm on jv again i was like damn bro because our team was pretty good to be on varsity and I don't know if I was that good enough but no, it's another story for another day but anyways sophomore year I was on JV we had a squad who was really undefeatable by this time I'm dropping 20 20 20 point games back to back I'm talking about from three just huh, huh, huh. I'm talking about I'm just cash like nobody can even touch me every time I get past the ball I'm shooting it I don't even care. My teammates didn't even care if I was a ball hawk. I probably was a ball hawk. They didn't say nothing. But I was carrying the team. Sophomore year, I'm dropping 20, almost 30 points a game. We go in the varsity tournaments. I'm like, shit, we getting teed up. So, as I said before, our varsity team was pretty good. They already, the coaches already had the solidified group. You know how that go. And if you're not really like, you know, athletic guard, or you, you 6'5", and you, you scraping off rebounds off the... You ain't getting picked up, especially when the team already formed and the coach had been there for a couple years. It's just sad. It really is just sad. But we in sophomore year, I'm balling, I'm hooping. It's about around Christmas time, right? We go to the we go to the tournament. The Christmas tournament is like three tournaments during the break. I'm dropping 20, 25, 30 in the next game. I'm talking about I'm going off. I am not capping. I can pull up some footage. I can show you the footage that I'm be hooping. Like this ain't no just. I'm just on the shit capping. I'm dropping 20, 30 points a game. I'm literally carrying the team. We beat in varsity tournaments. We win in the varsity tournaments. And I'm like, oh shit. I don't even really be in the gym practicing every day. I'm not a lab rat. And I can drop 20, 30 points just because my jumper is it's just amazing to me how somebody could be so good well skilled at a sport that you don't even have to put a hundred percent effort in fast forward after sophomore year we get a new coach i think our team went three rounds deep into the playoffs and they lost a team in DeSoto. soto texas a was pretty good but we could beat them anyway but i wasn't playing so of course we didn't win junior year comes around the coach that has coached my previous brother i have two older brothers he coached my oldest brother second oldest brother so i was the next one in the line so just the vincent trilogy so i was coming up next i was like oh yeah the coaches already know me i've been playing i've been with the program for so long everything was set up set up in place so i'm like bet i can get in get on varsity shoot threes because that's all i do i didn't need to dribble play defense because that was what our team team was was it was mainly defense we was running cross country in the morning 7 a.m three miles coming back in the gym get shots up after that after school during the athletic period we was committed to basketball so junior year comes up coach leaves ups gone i'm talking about gone i ain't gonna hate on it because if he got a bigger bag to go coach at another different school i'm going to do that too so I ain't tripping about that. So we get a new coach, right? This nigga is 6'8". Nigga walks into the gym, head ducking under the doorway, 6'8", ears big as hell. I'm like, this is the new, this is the new coach. I was like, babe, we finna be hooping, we finna be hooping. The first day of practice, nigga puts me on JV again. I'm like, hold on. The previous coaches didn't see or did he even tell them that I'm dropping 30 points a game? I'm like, hold on. And I get put on JV again for my junior year. That's when I was like, okay. All right, that's when I stopped playing games. That junior year, I, first scrimmage, I'm dropping 20. 20 points a game. Our first game, we I got the coaches telling me, stop shooting. Stop shooting. I'm talking about fast break. I'm pulling up for three. 
I'm missing. Like, they stop shooting. I'm like, how you finna come and tell me you on the sideline for a reason? I'm in the game. All my decisions matter. These niggas trying to tell me, oh, stop shooting. Attack the cup. I'm like, no, this is what I do. This is what I shoot. We playing through the whole year. I forgot to say, I got JV. I got JV player of the year, sophomore year. JV, it's on a plaque. My name, JV player of the year on a plaque. And how the, how the fuck I don't make, excuse my French, but how the fuck I don't make varsity and I get JV player of the year? Explain that to me. Explain that to me. How somebody in the in the uh, college basketball win MVP and don't make the NBA? Tell me where they do that at. Tell me. So after all that, all them milestones, all them accolades completed, <laughs> I get put on JV again for the first half of my junior year. Junior junior year, I'm just consistently dropping 20, 30 points a game. Like it's nothing, right? <laughs> uh, this time around, I remember the text message. Around Christmas time, December 2018. <laughs> we go to we go to a varsity tournament, hoping we dropping off every varsity team we playing against. Dropping them off, of course. <laughs> I come out with all tournament MVP. 24 point championship game 24 points in a championship game later on that evening get a coach from the tick from the head coach congratulations on all time or not all time but all uh tournament mvp great job i'm like thanks coach next text message are you ready to make the change you know what i said i said hell yeah I've been wanting to play varsity. I knew I could play varsity for all this time. My sophomore year, I already knew I could. But the team was too stacked, so I couldn't, that was out of my control. When I got that text message, I was like, oh yeah, it's over. I, this is, this was already supposed to be happening. I'm already supposed to be in the place. You shouldn't have haven't played half the season before I even got to varsity. So, I, I finally get moved up. I'm like, oh shit, it's gonna be the same shit. I'm like, all right, JV, JV practices was, you know, it was mediocre, it wasn't no intense shit. And I always thought like, wow, like I even have, like I've always like perceived varsity as some upper echelon. Oh, that's the highest amount of basketball. That's where the elite at. I can't even play with them. I even have it written down in my ninth grade. I wrote in a time capsule that I should be playing varsity basketball. That was one of my goals, I should have said. I said I wish I, I stopped eating, stopped getting fat. I was 6'4 and I was playing varsity basketball. That was on my time caps. When I got asked to move up, he did not play me at all. You move a prospect up. You you take somebody away from where they're succeeding, right? You plant I plant a seed. I'm growing. I'm growing up. I'm sprouting. I'm dropping 20, 30 points a game. You pull me out of my success, right? I'm asking you asking me to come ready to make a change. I'm like, bet, this is what I want to do. Who 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 would not take this by the way, this was probably one of the worst decisions of my life up to this point. I was what 17? It was probably the worst decision of my life. I really should have stayed on JV, kept dropping buckets, and it came back senior year and then say, yeah, and nah, I'm he asked me my junior year around Christmas time if I'm ready to move up, right? I said yes, of course. Worst decision of my life. Then the season begins to, to continue on. He's not playing me, so I'm like, Coach, wh what's up? Like you, you don't bring nobody up from JV to not play them. That's literally the, the that's that's counterintuitive. Like that's literally, like what is the point of that? You don't bring somebody who's dropping 30 points up to an upper level to not play them. That doesn't translate to anything. You don't take a hundred dollars invest it into a business and then do nothing with it so he took me out of my success brought me into something and just left me there just left me there for dead just roadkill i'm like i'm asking him every day i'm like hey coach why, why am i not playing i mean you brought me up for a reason i mean there's no reason to bring somebody up just just to have them like you trying to fill spots like hell no nah. like what the hell i'm dropping 30 points a game you congratulating me on like, like what? I'm like, I'm getting all these mixed messages like, okay, I'm playing good, you congratulating me, you brought me up, 
in the first day of practice, I'm there. He was like, yep, and I brought somebody here to take your spot. He telling all the, all the players, yep, you said you're going to have to fight for your spot. This is going to come here to take your spot. So I'm like, all right, bet, I'm going to play. I'm in practice. I'm hooping. It's normal practice. I'm After practices, I'm like, oh, yeah, you tell me, yeah, you playing good. You know, you know, game time comes. I'll be like, all right, first game. Didn't play. Set the whole entire game. I go walking, I'm like, I go walk in his office, I'm like, damn coach, why aren't you ain't playing me? This nigga says, sorry right now, bro. times are tough, we got Ellison coming up. Oh my god, this is where I should have, I wish I had hindsight, because that, when I should have heard that from looking at it now, like, oof, I should have said, alright, you got me, you got me. You got me fucked up if you think you're gonna bring me up to sit me down because times are tough. I'm just I'm just at a complete loss. Like, shouldn't you bring somebody in who's dropping 30 points a game on JV when times are tough? When somebody pulls up on you, ready to fight? What you gonna do? Not you you ain't gonna you gonna you ain't gonna square up? You already know niggas coming to shoot at you. You ain't gonna bring your Glock. Like, nigga, what the fuck you mean? Times are tough, nigga. You brought me up for a reason. I'm the help. I'm literally the, I'm literally the help. I'm literally the Glock. I'm literally the square up. And you got, and it's just, you had the, the nerve to say that to me after you brought me up. You brought me up. So I'm like, I'm like, damn, you brought me up to just to tell me that times are tough. Like, I'm thinking I'm a new addition to the squad. This new addition is supposed to elevate. Not for you to bring me up just to sit me. Like, huh? You gonna bring somebody up just to sit them? I'm saying the entire year was like that. Did not play. At all. N n zero. Zero. I'm talking about zero minutes. The only time I would play is when we up 20 25 and it's like four it's the fourth quarter with three minutes B fucking basically like i'm a i'm a damn injured reserve basically i'm playing those minutes i'm playing like i am not good enough and this is just bench one i was literally a bench warmer the entire year for the whole half of 11th grade up until i haven't even i haven't even got to my senior year yet oh my for the half of junior year i was a bench warmer and that was the year, was supposed to be my breakout year for being JV player the year the year before, coming up to already dropping 30 points a game, getting all tournament MVP. That was supposed to be my breakout. I was supposed to come on varsity spraying. We were supposed to we were supposed to win district. I don't even know if we won district or something like that. Basketball is I don't even care about basketball no more. Like I said, that's supposed to be my breakout. Like how I come from all these accolades. And all this stuff, and you don't, you don't even blame me. So I'm like, wow, heart, just knife through the heart. I'm like, I'm dying. I'm like, I'm like, wow, am I, I'm questioning myself. I'm like, bro, am I not good enough for varsity? I keep having a second. I'm doubting myself every time. And I'm like, I'm like, dang, so I'm not good enough. So that entire year, I went from zero minutes a game zero minutes on the bench from JV player of the year all tournament MVP averaging probably 21 points a game move up varsity zero look through the hole you see my eye fucking zero minutes a game bro zero fucking minutes Hey man, that's the first part of this video. Drop a like, drop a comment if y'all like this. I can drop part two. And it's gonna be lit. Peace!